YouTube, what's going on? This is the Lucy for the Lucy for Kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. It is release day. I'm not going to say the cliche thing, but you know when I'm going to go pick up. I got a feeling it should be fairly easy, no issues, in and out. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> All right, y'all. So <laughs> I I struck out. Help me. Help me. You know my good people. They raffle these things off, man, and um. I wasn't able to secure my slot on any of these channels, man. And that's the thing about it is like, I'm always trying to try to be on some integrity type stuff when it comes to shoes, because at the end of the day, it's just a shoe to me. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, you know, I normally somehow magically stumble upon them, you know, in a legit manner anyway. So, um, it, it's not, a, you know, like that, I missed out on the shoe. I'm willing to do whatever. I'll pay this, this, and that for the shoe. Like, I never carry it like that. So, um, even still, like, I'm, I'm going to get the shoe. You know, I'm headed to another location, a uh, particular location I, I don't um, frequent. But I think the lesson in this is that I need to really start using my connections a little bit more. A few moments later. All right, so I was successful, got them. Um, I had to do my emergency drop down size, the eight and a half. What he was telling me is that no one raffled, well, did a reservation on the uh, eight and a half for some reason. So they had like multiple runs. So that's insane. Mm, you just never know. So I'm back at the house cop the kick and um it's like i said in the video it's kind of my fault because i wasn't really super aggressive about putting in reservations and i kind of waited because i got conflicting information on the shoe but um I, I learned my lesson if you will you're probably saying you should always learn your lesson you know better when you're out here in these sneaker streets but <clears throat> the real issue is that i had a business issue to take uh care of later on that day so that took precedence over me copping the sneaker and um i didn't get through on the sneakers app due to the wonderful bots and all that good stuff and um <clears throat> i was not paying attention when they did the shock drop on them a few weeks ago and i was like well i get them it's a sneaker it's a sneaker however this sneaker the uh jordan 4 black cement or bread if you will it is it's a love-hate sneaker believe it or not and um, this is during the times where a lot of people were being robbed, um, you know, people being killed over shoes. Lucci from the Street Kicks, he talked about an incident um, back in our home state, um, not too far from Baltimore, around, um, uh, I think it was, uh, what's the name of that area? Um, outside Fort Meade, okay? Forgot then, Odington, that's the town. Outside Fort Meade, um, near Fort Meade, Odington area, where a kid was um, killed by his best friend. Oh, some sneakers. I do remember that story. Um, I was when I was young, okay, and it was around the times um, when I really wasn't paying attention to Jordans like that anymore. Anyway, um, it was all well, they get you killed, was all that stuff, and I do remember people um, being, you know, robbed, you know, at gunpoint and stuff like that. They're on the bus stop. People take their shoes from them. They're sitting on the bus stop in their socks, walking home in their socks. And um, it was more of a shame thing, along with the, the straight up strong arm robbery over the sneakers. So a lot of parents were like, we aren't gonna get you those shoes. But let's get into the shoe, you know, chill with the negativity and everything. Um, there were, I got reports of, um, you know, some people going nuts for the shoe over at the mall. And like I said, it, it, it wasn't a, um, it wasn't really first come first serve. As far as I know in my area, it was a lot of reservations, severely limited. The uh, sneaker spot I went to, I thought they would have like multiple size runs. They only had one size run and it was all reservation. And um, like I said, shout out to dude who um, put me on to a location to get my pair. And like I told y'all before about the fours, I can, 
uh, drop all the way down to an eight and a half. All right, I can drop down to an eight and a half in fours. It's something about the toe box that allows me to wear that sneaker with no issues. My um, laser fours are eight and a halves and my Raptors are eight and a half. So I don't have any issue with those shoes. They aren't too snug for some reason. Um, a couple of my four, I have a few other pairs of fours. They're like nine, nine and a half, no issues with those as well. Also my motorsport alternates. So let's get into the sneak. All right, so you got your, your Jordan four bread you know, Black Cement, the official name. Yeah, Black Fire Red Cement Gray, so Black Cement. And um, the first thing we'll talk about, we, we're gonna get into the positives and the uh, the negatives, if you will, the pros and cons, or the uh, sustained and improves, if you will. First off, we're talking about 1989 technology, late 80s technology going into this sneaker. So. Let's talk about the materials first. You got this uh, new buck, dura buck deal right here. And if you remember this version, uh, this early version of the new buck, dura buck is that it creased pretty bad, believe it or not, right up in here. It creased pretty bad. So if you're somebody that you wanna wear these and you wanna beat on them a little bit, you're probably one of the people who's like, I'm gonna get two pair because I know I'm gonna pretty much crease this up pretty bad. But um, you know, get yourself some, um, some of those crease guards to put it in, not gonna say the brand, but yeah, and do protect them. I always talk about this uh, new buck, dura buck. If you spray it over protecting, it will pretty much um, keep the shoe from not looking ashy. But um, otherwise, you know, it's, it's, I don't have any paint spray over or anything like that. Um, it, it looks good compared, no glue spray sprays, anything like that, overruns. No pop stitching, anything like that. Uh, so it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I got a little paint issue right here. Hold on. Yeah, got a little slight paint issue right here. If you can see that right up in there. Got a little paint issue, but I do have this, this paint right here. If I want to fix that up, I do have that uh, flat black paint if I want to touch that up, if you will. But not bad, not bad. Of course, the, they had the little flimsy hang tag back then where they went with the bigger, bulkier, uh, clear chain tag on there. Um, anybody wear this on their shoe? I know back in the day, some people did that. This is annoying. I take I always take it off when I wear my fours or any other shoe. Of course, the Nike Air on the back, you know, standard Jordan 4 um, outsole right there. The, the cement thing, maybe it's going with the gray. Not too sure about that. You don't have the speckling in there that truly makes the sneaker a cement um, sneaker, but they're going for the colorway right there. So yeah, you know, you're not gonna have any yellowing, if you will, besides the midsole and the white area and the white air bubble. Um, this is a lot of people are talking about doubling up on the sneaker. Good luck if you can find them. Um, I was out to, today's Sunday, it's Sunday night, by the way. Like I told you guys, I was busy. Shout out to Rod Steele who said, um, you know, I'm gonna look for your video if, if you drop a video. <laughs> So, you know, Rod checks out the channel all the time and he knows I've slowed down on the volume of the videos and I'll explain to you guys what's going on already about, I'm not gonna beat the dead horse, we aren't gonna make any more glue. But these are dope, these were a graduation gift. I appreciate you, thank you. Um, I did jump through one minor hoop to get them and um, I was shocked that the military exchange stores did not get them. They didn't get them at all. So, you know, these would have been 160 for me. But retailing at 200, being as an iconic sneaker, yeah, you know, it, I don't wanna say that cliche. You know how it goes down, okay? So either you're willing to pay for it or you're not, or um, you got your discount on here. I, for one, this time did not get my discount on the shoe because I had to go to Shoe Palace. And y'all know I am about that. That's my last resort. No disrespect to Shoe Palace. That's just how they do business along with City Gear. No discounts. Um, but if you really, really want to start uh, pushing your brand a little bit more, shoe pilots, I know you guys do a lot of sales, a lot of crazy sales. You know, some customer loyalty programs would go a long way with that. But that's just me talking. I don't want to beat you guys over the head too much because you've seen 5011 videos on it. Um, I don't have any whiz bang things to tell you about this shoe. This is my first time owning the uh, Bread Fours and 
you know, it was a sneak I was waiting for. It's one of the sneakers of 2019 I was waiting for. I've got my other few pair from the um, the pair he wore line so far this year. And um, I had my eyes on the bread ones that they dropped. It's kind of a rumor right now. And of course the bread 11s are coming. So that's two more sneakers that I'm looking out for based off the ones he wore. Like I said, I, I told you a lot of guys, um, well, I've said countless times, I've gotten to see Michael play from start to finish, all right? From a kid up until adult. I've watched his career. Um, so, you know, he's the greatest player ever. And for you, you know, the guy that plays for the Lakers, he's the greatest player for your generation. I'll leave it at that. But trust me, nobody's going crazy over that guy's shoes like these right here. But, but um, let's chop it up in the, um, the comment section. I did that uh, live while I was on the road. Thanks to everybody that checked it out. Um, appreciate your interaction. I was having some um, some connection difficulties because while I was in the middle of nowhere, y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, I was out there. So if the quality was bad, I was going in and out, which I knew um, it was because of the location I was at. I was in uh, Southwest Texas near the border. Believe me, I could look over and look into Mexico. That's how far I was. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you tap the notification button. And um, you too can be a part of the 4K Brigade. And like I always say, it's not about how much you pay for the sneaker. It's why'd you pay that much? Well, in this case, I wanted them. And I'm out of here. Boom. Eventually.